The sculling pry uses a non-power face and moves the canoe away from your paddling side in a sideways motion, just like a pry but without the slicing recovery. The sculling pry is challenging because of the changing blade pitch throughout the stroke. And now in detail, set up for the sculling pry with the paddle in the pry position. Open the non-power face of the blade at about 20 degrees to the bow and angle the shaft forward. This action will put pressure on the blade and move you sideways. Keep the pressure constant and when the blade finishes its arc towards the bow, turn the blade at about 20 degrees to the stern and arc the paddle back towards the stern using a pendulum motion. Note these four points. Set the non-power face of the blade open towards the bow. Then arc the blade towards the bow, changing the blade pitch as you go. Keep using the non-power face of the blade and set the blade open towards the stern. Then arc the blade towards the stern, changing the blade pitch as you go. The stroke can be done either on or off the gunwale. You can also move both hands so that the shaft remains perpendicular to the gunwale. Or if you prefer, make a stationary fulcrum with the heel of your hand, and this will create a dramatic pendulum motion. These skulls are hard to do because the grip needs to be held over the gunwale, and the blade has to be constantly pitched on each pass. The path my blade is taking is like a swinging pendulum of a grandfather clock, ticking back and forth. <laughs>